Hello and welcome to Learning High Charts by Pact Publishing. Zolt Gear and Jonathan Wong have put this course together for you. I am Paul Bailey, your voiceover artist, and I would be Zolt's voice for this course. Zolt started as a classic web designer many years ago, and after getting a lot of experience, he became a successful front end developer. He's a big fan of new web technologies and has written tutorials about advanced HTML5 advertising formats and articles about using high charts. This course is aimed at users who have minimal knowledge about programming, but have some basic knowledge of web development and using technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript would be an advantage, though not essential. For example, if you are a journalist, blogger or designer and want to create charts without learning to write a lot of code, well, this course will suit you. However, this course should also provide a good introduction to developers with a significant knowledge of web development and want to learn how to build interactive high charts. We will use real world examples to help demonstrate the key features of using high charts effectively to you. We will see the fun and exciting tips on how to enhance your charts to be more visually appealing to your users. We will start with a brief overview on high charts so that you understand its capabilities and then move on to setting up your first chart. You'll understand how to use key high charts features and its layout options effectively and we'll begin to look more in depth at the different high chart options and how to configure charts using these options. Next, we'll examine how high charts supports a range of different chart types and how users' data can be displayed in a meaningful way. In section 5, we'll start to look at how high charts can read different data formats, read from different types of sources, and how you can drill down and filter data from different sources. We'll then focus on how to handle input from the user, specifically how to handle different events that are fired within a chart. Next, we'll examine the various ways in which we can distribute our charts. Lastly, we'll look at developing high charts for mobile platforms. So I hope that prepares you a little for what's to come.